When Gene DeGrazia graduated from high school in the depths of the Great Depression, he could not find a job. So he created his own. He bought a gas station and went looking for customers. His place in Valmy, Nevada is 400 miles west of Salt Lake City, a half day's drive east of Reno, just off Interstate 80. Most folks pass by it as fast as they can. At first, Gene had only a few customers. What do you want, the super unleaded? But he set out to entice more. All right, let's go. He stocked fish in the few trickles of water he could find. I got one. Then advertised directions to DeGrazia's secret fishing holes. Oh, he got away, he got away. He thought his place would do better if he could talk to the outside world. Hello. Ma Bell said that would be too costly. Gene saved for 12 years, bought 30 poles, and hooked himself to the phone system. 665, where'd he go? Still, the little gas station struggled. The road out of town was the only way the road seemed to go. Every time the highway was fixed, the state moved it a few hundred yards farther west. Gene picked up his town and followed. We had to move the entire store and everything over on this side. By 1938, Eugene de Grazia had talked Julie Nanini into sharing his desert home. When we got married, we were $5,000 in the hole. He built cabins for trappers and miners and told folks he'd be glad to drive their kids to the nearest schools, which he did for 35 years, more than a million miles without an accident or even a flat tire. His own two boys wanted to be a dentist and a lawyer. So, Gene and Julie opened a diner. Took a lot of 10 cent cups of coffee to <laughs> put them both through school. But they made it, because by then, Gene owned the whole town. He set up a fire department, got the Greyhound bus to stop, and expanded the post office. It now serves the county's scattered ranches and mines. What do you folks do for amusement around here? Well, we drink and we gamble. We jog through the sagebrush. And and then we end up going to bed. That's why Gene missed Bruce Springsteen, who stopped one night to have his picture taken in front of the station for an album cover. Gene wrote about it, though, in his regular column for the Valmy Badger. I can understand why you came, but why did you stay? It was just a challenge of it. I saw there, 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 was, there was hopes for a place like this. Hope and hard work in a place most of us pass by. Gene de Grazia made his life. Bob Dotson, NBC News, Valmy, Nevada.